Welcome to Lesson 2 of Paperless Pipelines Admin Training Series. This lesson is part of a three-lesson training course that will allow you to hit the ground running in Pipeline. Complete Lessons 1 and 2 at your own pace. Then, to sign up for Lesson 3, send an email to help at paperlesspipeline.com to reserve your spot in an upcoming live training session. In today's lesson, you will learn how to Manage users and locations, manage custom statuses and labels for transactions, set up standardized document names, manage checklists, download and manage monthly backups, adjust company-wide settings, and get help. Let's get started. You already learned in Lesson 1 how to add new users. Here are some additional actions you can take in the Manage Users section. To return to Manage Users, click your name and Admin Settings. Then click Manage Users. Click any user's gear icon to edit the user profile, deactivate them, or reset their password. Resetting a user's password will also send them a welcome email with their new password. You can also edit a user's profile by clicking their name. You can never edit your own profile or the profile of a master admin. Locations in Paperless Pipeline typically represent different branch offices of the brokerage. However, since users' permissions are granted per location, locations may be used to segment permissions between different departments of groups within the same branch office. For example, for managing confidential docs, or to support special team structures. To add a new location to your account, click your name, then Admin Settings, then Manage Locations from the left menu. Click Add Location. Enter the location, and click Add. Locations allow you to separate users' permissions by departments, groups, or branch offices, identify where a transaction belongs, play a role in how checklists are auto-assigned, and much more. Be sure to attend Lesson 3, where we'll look at getting the most out of locations. By customizing your account, you will be able to provide your agents and admins with the most optimal experience. Let's walk through each customization. Standardized document names make it easy for your agents and admins to comply with your company's document naming conventions. When users add documents to a transaction, they can select a name from your company's predefined list of standardized document names. Standardized doc names are not enforced. Users will be able to enter a different name in cases where a standard name is not applicable to a doc. To define standard names for your company's documents, click your name, then Admin Settings from the upper right corner of your account, then click Document Names. Click Add Doc Name to create a new document name, or click the gear to the right of an existing name and then Rename to edit an existing name. Users will be able to choose from these names when they are uploading or assigning docs to transactions. Use document labels to allow your team to quickly identify specific documents and transactions on working docs and on the unreviewed docs page. Document labels are color-coded and customizable. To define labels for your company, click your name then Admin Settings from the upper right corner of your account. Click Document Labels. Up to 14 color-coded labels are available. Use as many as you need. Click directly on a label to name, or click the gear icon, then Edit Label to give that colored label a name. Enter document types, custom categories, statuses, initials of admin, or whatever classification of docs your office needs. To apply a label, go to a transaction's docs and hover over a doc name until a label icon appears. Click it to select a desired label or to remove a label. Use the same process on working docs.
Statuses are used in Pipeline to determine the current stage of a transaction. Add custom statuses that match your office's terminology, making it easier for your agents and admins to identify the current stage of any transaction. For example, instead of fell through, perhaps your office uses the term deal fell through or withdrawn. Statuses should reflect the actual stages of a transaction rather than describing or classifying the transaction's property type. For example, avoid statuses like closed commercial and closed residential. Instead, simply use closed. Then, use separate transaction label fields to describe whether the property is commercial or residential. We will go over transaction labels next. When you'd like to tag, describe, or otherwise classify your transactions, use the Customizable Transaction Label field. This field allows you to classify your transactions based on the type of property or other criteria. Some offices use it to define whether they have the sale or listing side of a transaction, while others use it to classify their property types. Setting up custom labels in your account has several benefits. Labels are clearly displayed on transaction lists, making it easy to identify them at a glance. You can filter transactions based on their label. And you can set your checklists to be automatically assigned to transactions based on these labels. More on that in the next section. In Lesson 1, we learned how to create a checklist template and to apply it to transactions. Checklist templates allow the system to help you bring transactions to completion. Checklists can be added to transactions manually, as you saw in Lesson 1, or you can set them to be automatically added to transactions, saving time and eliminating mistakes in managing a transaction's workflow. Pipeline can assign a checklist template to a transaction automatically whenever the transaction status or label changes to a desired value. For example, whenever any transaction moves to a pending status, you can have the system automatically assign the pending offer checklist template to that transaction. Here's how you can make a checklist template auto-assignable. Click your name, then Admin Settings from the upper right corner of your account. Then click Checklist from the left menu. To add a new template, click Add Template, or click the gear to the right of an existing template, then Edit Template to open an existing template. Specify the transaction status or label that should trigger auto-assignment of a checklist to a transaction. You can select the status or the label or both. Whenever a transaction in this checklist location changes to your chosen status and label, this checklist will be automatically assigned to it. Now, whenever a transaction status and label are changed to our chosen values, this checklist will be automatically added to it. Monthly backups are included in your plan and are accessible from within your account. Click Monthly Backups from the left menu of your dashboard. Once there, you'll see links to the backups. A new month's backup is available a few days after the end of that month. Each backup is available for 30 days. You'll receive an email reminder when a new month's backup is ready for download. Downloading monthly backups is not required. The data in your Paperless Pipeline account is more secure than it would be in an average real estate office's local network. We retain all of your data for at least 10 years as long as you maintain a full paid account with us. Each monthly backup includes all transaction files created during the previous month, as well as all transactions that closed or expired in the previous month. It also includes transactions on which you have manually checked the Include Next Month's Backup checkbox. In addition to monthly backups, you also have the ability to download individual transactions as and when you need them. To download a single transaction, go to the transaction and click Download Transaction from the left menu. Then click to confirm the download. You'll receive an email with a link to the download within a few minutes. The backup contains all data belonging to the selected transaction. If you want to hand this off to an agent, 
be sure to remove appropriate files from the backup first. The settings on the main admin page control several features throughout the system. Click your name, then Admin Settings. Check Only Allow PDF Documents to only allow PDF docs to be uploaded to your account. Check the Enable Entered Docs feature to add an additional column of checkboxes for your docs. You can use this additional checkbox to indicate whether documents have been entered into an external accounting system. Check the Prevent Duplicate Document Uploads option to prevent duplicate docs from being uploaded to Transactions and Working Docs. Uncheck Email Agents Expiring and Closing Transaction Reminders if you don't want them to receive such reminders. Uncheck Email Agents when Admin Comments on Documents if you don't want agents to be notified when admins add a comment to documents. Uncheck Enable New Offer Feature if your company does not want to use that feature. And if you'd only like completed transactions to be included in your monthly backups, check Only Include Completed Transactions in Monthly Backups. This option is used when an office only wants a single instance of a transaction to be captured. The Transaction Name Instruction field allows you to input custom instructions for the Transaction Name field. Enter custom help text, and it will be displayed below the Transaction Name field when a user creates or edits a transaction. With this message, you can communicate your transaction naming convention to agents and admins. We want to make sure you can easily access the information you need. Get page-specific videos and tutorials throughout Pipeline by clicking the question mark in the upper right corner, then Help for this page. You'll get relevant information at your fingertips. To access our help site chock full of tips, facts, troubleshooting information, and user guides, click the tips link under the question mark. To contact our help desk, click the chat email widget in the lower right corner of your account or send an email to help at paperlesspipeline.com. There's no question too big or small. Send them all. That's it for this lesson. Be sure to sign up for the last lesson in this series. Lesson 3. In that live training session, we'll tie everything together that you've learned so far and explore some of the more advanced features of the system, allowing you and your team to get the most out of Pipeline and customize it to fit your needs. Here's what we'll cover. Managing the entire life cycle of a transaction. How teams communicate through Pipeline. Transaction audit history. Hands-off automatic features. Managing new offers. Understanding mail drop addresses. PDF manipulation, bulk assignment of docs to a transaction, making locations work for you, different agents, different options, reports, downloads, and customization, and your questions.